Okay, I'm back. So, the deal the deal was, to make a long story short with this, because um, I actually just had to redo this, another parent um, that goes to the school, you know, he's very, you know, so he's very into it as well, you know, as he's at every game and, and whatnot, and his son just started attending my son's school in this year, and uh, we've been with the school, you know, since he was a freshman, because his freshman year, sophomore year, he started uh, in varsity. So we were basically this dad. He's he he can be just a complete a hole. Seriously, he he always has something to say to my son and his best friend, who is Jeremiah. That's in um, the one video with the uh, Reuben sandwiches and whatnot. And he always has something to say. Always. Uh, smooth, you could have did, you know, after the game, smooth, you could have did this and that. And that's what they, they call my son smooth. Um, don't ask me why, but they just do. But, um, man, you could have did this and that. And I'm just, and after a while, you know, I used to get on them and go off on them. You know, I'd be like, dude, go on about your business. I'm talking about my kid. You know, why you always got something to say about him? You know, mind your own business or, or you ain't, you're not right about this. You're not right about that. So my friend, Pam, she, she started saying recently that, you know, some of the stuff he was saying, you know, was kind of true, which in a sense it was. But I kind of started seeing through that. So today when me and my son was having a heart to heart, you know, he, you know, he's just kind of just dealing with a lot of things mentally being his age and just a lot of stuff on his plate. He's trying to do the girlfriend thing, school, basketball, his home life. It's just everything is just, you know just busting them up right now so uh we're getting through that you know we really are so with that being said i don't need no one else to try to break him down so this idiot tells my son and i had him tell me over and over again like at least five times to make sure there wasn't any loops or holes in his story but he said this fool told him after they were practicing, him and his friend were practicing, and he came, you know, with a bunch of other boys, and he came up to them and was and said, let me get it right, let me get it right. He said, yeah, yeah, smooth, see, <clears throat> you, oh, you're not as good as you think you are, and you're going to get a wide awakening. What? For real? Where they do that at? For real? You, you literally told my kid that, that. He is not as good as he think he is, and he's gonna get a, a a wild awakening for real. Yeah, you 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 yeah. I'm gonna get you because I feel that you a grown man. Matter of fact, I don't know. I was about to say something else, but don't even worry about. You a grown man. You don't beat children up mentally like that. There is a place in hell for you, and I'm gonna need you to leave. That one alone. I'm going to need you to leave him alone. You have a child. You need to talk to that kid right there. You need to talk to him. You need to leave him alone. Any advice you got from him, you're not his coach. You're not an assistant coach. You or nobody but another kid's parent. I'm going to need you to leave mine alone. So I plan to, <clears throat> when I see him, I'm not going to cuss him out. I'm not going to be all just extra. But I'm just going to clearly let him know in a nice, strong tone where other parents and maybe a few coaches can hear it if they're sitting next to him. I'm going to need you to leave Eric the hell alone. Don't say nothing else to my child. I don't want you to say nothing positive to him. I don't want you to say something. I don't want you to say nothing. I don't say nothing to him. Nothing. Hell, don't even look at him. Just don't. Close your damn eyes when he coming down the court. You know, for real. I, you know, I don't play them games. You know, I don't, I don't talk about other people's children. It's a fine line that I will go through, but you don't, you, no. He's dealing with enough. Kids in general at this age deal with enough. I don't need you. I don't, or I don't need anyone that means my kid no good to try to break him down. I'm not going to have it, and that's that. So, he, 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 he's so done, he don't even know it. So, Anyway, I'm going to let that go because I've just been on a little self rant um, on my own over here. And uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, that's what I had to tell y'all. 
So what else have I been doing? Um, guess what? I got my first. I why well, I got. I placed my first haul video with Wild Orchid Crowds, and I cannot wait. They said that they shipped it out Monday. I'm hoping that it will come tomorrow. And you know those things have to be signed for, I believe. At least I know I Am Roses did. So, I'm going to be glued, glued, glued to the front door for the mailman to come. And I can't wait. I spent, like, some money, money. So, I cannot wait to do that all video. Um, What else I've been doing? Oh, also, you know, I told you, you know, in the last video, my son's school's closing. So, they called me, me, right, of all moms. They called me um, a few, well, last week and said that they wanted to pick a couple parents from the juniors. No, one parent from the juniors and one parent from the seniors to do a commercial. So, oh, my God. Oh, where is it at? Oh, gosh, I got to do it. I need y'all to listen to this. I actually was on the radio. It's called Clear Channel Radio. Clear Channel Radio. So I, you know, they they told me to give them five reasons why I sent my son to Imagine uh, School. That's the name of school. So um, I, you know, I did this whole little skit. You know, in five to six sentences, he wanted me to, you know, do it in. So I said, well, you know, okay. So I I, I emailed it to him, and of course. When I got down there on Monday, he already had what he wanted me to say. So he took out all sorts of stuff. You know, I wanted to bring in the basketball stuff and everything. So anyway, yeah. So it was really neat. He let my boys, the twins, and the tutor go. And he let them do the little uh, tour and all this. So I'm right now, my laptop is right next to me. And I'm getting ready to upload it. Now, there's a woman that speaks first. And then you got, you guys are going to hear me. Oh, my God. And my mom, she's called me like twice. I heard you on the radio. I heard you on the radio. I'm like, okay, okay. Okay. I'm going to make sure my volume is up. Y'all going to hear this. Don't be laughing, y'all. Okay. I'm trying to cut up loud. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, listen, listen. Come on, come on. Okay. It's coming, y'all. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. (sighs) Any day, any day. Acer. Mm, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I hope this thing do it before this thing. Give me 10 minutes. So, uh, anyway, um, while this is going, what else? Um, I wanted to tell you all some other things. Oh, uh, my, if you guys want to get in, any, I have any last minute people that want to get in, uh, on my grunge ATC swap, go ahead. And I'm going to close it out in a little bit. Oh, this thing is so freaking slow. Come on, stupid computer. I'm going to have to end up going into three videos. Because I really want y'all to hear this. My mom, um, they were like, oh my God. Do you want to know why oh, parents send their children to Imagine Schools? I'm Angela Brown. I sent my son, Eric Clark, to Imagine Schools. When Eric leaves for school, I know that he's at a school that's giving him the knowledge and tools to become a successful, educated man in the real world. The rate of successful college scholarships is very impressive. The smaller teacher-student ratio is also beneficial. I'm pleased with my choice. Imagine Schools. What a difference a choice makes. Log on to ImagineStLouis.com. <laughs> Oh my God. So look, wait a minute. We was in the car. My brother, he was joining on me because he heard it. And he was like, yeah, you did good. He heard it twice. So the second time he heard it, he's like, yeah, you did real good. You said the real world. He said your words were all mushed up. The real world. What is it? The real I don't know. But he was joining on me so hard. I couldn't do nothing but laugh. But I hope, hopefully you guys actually could hear that uh, commercial. But yeah. And look, and it didn't it didn't do any good because the dog on school still closed. So, <laughs> yes, I wanted you guys to hear that and whatnot. So, and also I want to thank you guys for coming along on the challenge that um, Rashida uh, did. Really, and Anika really is the one start. That girl is crazy. She started the whole thing. She got in my head. You know, I was a follower leading after her and then she didn't even do her dog she didn't even do she didn't even cook talking about she had family over or friends and family girl you better get on it so anyway i'm gonna let you all go and i'm at my minute my my mark but anyway i'm out thank you guys for listening watching and praying and thank you bye-bye